Question number 10. Mika Faitari. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Koe. Inga mi mō te whare nei. Tēnā tātou katoa. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Environment and ask, does he stand by his statement that the Land and Water Forum represents a, quote, very constructive process, unquote? And if so, can he explain why Fish and Game felt compelled to resign due to restrictions on the ability to speak out? The Honourable Nathan Speaker, Guy. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for the Environment, yes, I do indeed stand by my statement. The Land and Water Forum has been the most comprehensive, collaborative process of its kind, with contributions from over 70 different organisations. While it's disappointing that Fish and Game have decided to withdraw at this late stage, LORF is still due to deliver their fourth report to the Government in the very near future. The allegation that law participants are being muzzled over speaking are not correct. Participation is a collaborative process and it requires commitment and good faith towards other participants. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Mika Faitari. To the Minister, is he concerned that any other members of the Land and Water Forum may resign? And if not, why not? Uh, the Honourable Nathan Guy. Uh, on behalf of the Minister, no. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Mika Faitari. Uh, to the Minister, how can the public trust in his government's commitment to water quality when, after seven years of his government and five years of the Land and Water Forum, our rivers and streams continue to become more polluted? The Honourable Nathan Gould. Oh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, I'm afraid the member has got her facts completely wrong. This government has done more to deal with freshwater issues in the time that we have held the Treasury benches in comparison to those members sitting over that side of the House. What we have done is introduced the first national policy statement for freshwater. We have also increased funding by five times in dealing with freshwater cleanups. And we have done more to support and make sure that we have the frameworks in place to allow everyone to get on board with the plans that we have to ensure that we are enhancing our freshwater policies. And actually, these are intergenerational issues. They can't be fixed overnight. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Order. Order. I'll call the member when we get a... Get a uh, Mr. Speaker, to Mika the Minister. supplementary question. Mr. Speaker, to the Minister, what, what faith can the public of New Zealand have in the work of the Land and Water Forum when Kiwi children will not be able to swim in most of our rivers and streams because of high pollution? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, on behalf of the Minister for the Environment, the member needs to understand there is something like 400 and 25,000 kilometres of rivers and streams and 4,000 lakes in New Zealand. Not everyone is able to be in a swimmable state. What we have done is introduced minimal standards. What we have done is brought in national bottom lines at weightable levels. What we have done is allowed it up to regional councils and their communities to make changes if they so wish, while bearing in mind there are economic considerations as well as protecting and enhancing the environment. And we believe both of those can indeed order, be hand order, in hand. Order, there's little point in the Minister. There's little point in carrying on with the answer when the opposition is not listening to the question. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Mika Friday. To, to the Minister, uh, why should the public have confidence in the work of the Land and Water Forum when his government has used it to silence the environmental voices to the benefit of farmers? The Honourable oh. Nathan Guy. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, I refute those comments. What we have done, the first time in the history of the government, is pulled together 70 different organisations to come together to work on the importance of maintaining and enhancing fresh water. 70 organisations have come forward together. Yes, there will always be tension in the room, but importantly, they are working on their fourth report. We are looking forward to receiving it, and we will continue to make progress in this area, unlike the previous Labor-led government that did nothing. 
Point of order, Ian Lees Galloway. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table a document prepared by the Human Rights Commission. It's a list of human rights commissioners, including one Dr Jackie Blue. Order. Order. I'll put the leave. It'll be for the House to decide. Leave is sought to table that particular document. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Question. Order. Question number 11, Simon O'Connor.